My name is Mason Turner, and ever since I was a kid, I've dreamt of becoming a professional soccer player. And today, that dream is gonna come true as I sign my first ever contract. But first, let me tell you how I got here. I grew up playing in the streets of New York with my best friend Jalen, and the two of us were the best kids in the neighborhood. Jalen was usually the star of the group. He was strong, fast, and he loved to score goals. And me? Well, I was good, but I was always the smallest kid out there, so I had to stand out with my special skill, passing. My favorite thing to do was set Jalen up to score goals, and getting an assist for me was the most special thing in the world. Jalen and I were huge Chelsea fans, and we always dreamt that someday we could play together for Chelsea in the Premier League, two best friends scoring goals together under the lights at Stamford Bridge. It was a wild dream, but to us, it was fun to just pretend and put on a show in the streets of New York. But the truth was, we were really good for our age, and we got our chance because one day, we got noticed by a scout from New York City FC. You two were really good out there. How would you guys like to come and try out for the New York City FC Academy team? So in the blink of an eye, we actually had the chance to join a professional team. Jalen and I went to try out with New York City FC, but I was nervous. Were we gonna be able to perform at this high level? Well, Jalen impressed everybody right away. He was bigger, faster, and just better than the other kids even at this level, and the coach noticed him right away. But me, well, I struggled a lot. My specialty has always been passing, but I couldn't show that in tryouts. I was getting pushed around and my lack of physicality was a big problem. I didn't make a good impression. And then the worst happened. I'm sorry, kid. You're just too small for this level. And I don't think you have what it takes to play for our team. I'm not gonna sign you. I got rejected and my hopes of going pro were crushed. And even worse, Jalen did get an offer, which meant our friendship was broken up because he was leaving to join the MLS next, while I was not. But I just turned 13, which meant I was going off to high school. I might not be with an academy, but I could at least make my high school team. In fact, I made the varsity team at my high school in freshman year, and not to brag, but I was probably the best player in the team. I was still small and not that athletic, but I came with my signature move, long ball passing, that I worked so hard to develop as a kid. And this is the skill that made me a special player. But if I wanted to stand out and get another chance with the MLS or even a college team, I had to be the best player out there. Now, I was still probably the smallest kid, even at the high school level, and I wasn't that athletic, but at this level, my technique was just too good. I became an instant playmaker in this team, and I was finding assists almost every single game my freshman year. Even though I got turned down by the MLS, it's clear I still had a special talent, but if I actually wanted to make it to the pro level, I had so much growing left to do. So in my next year of high school, I continued to develop other parts of my game, not only assisting, but scoring goals, and it sure paid off as I made the New York All-State team in my second year of high school, but I still had no offers from any MLS academies. Were my hopes of making it pro gonna be over already? Well, I refused to give up. I dragged my team to back-to-back -to -back state championships in my final two years of high school, and I kept getting better. I might never be the most athletic player, but I had grown up a lot over the last four years. I became easily the best player in my high school league, all thanks to my incredible passing range, but I still had no MLS Academy offers and it was looking like my only future might be in college. Maybe I could make it to a division one school and if I could perform there, I might still have a pathway to making it pro. But the question would be, is any college actually gonna take a chance on me? Well, the answer was yes, because the prestigious Stanford University gave me a scholarship to play for their Division I soccer team. So now I was going off to be a Stanford Cardinal and have my final chance at a pathway to professional soccer. But I was 18 years old now, and while I was going off to college, Jalen Davis and other talented young players were in the MLS already. And while I was in high school, Jalen made his debut for New York City FC and scored. Of course, Jalen Davis was always gonna make it to the top. I'm so happy for my friend, but if I wanna make it to this level with him, I have so much more growing to do. At this point, Jalen had become a starter for New York City FC. Not only that, but he was becoming one of their best players, scoring goals and getting all the attention in the MLS while I was just going off for my first year of college. It was a world of difference, and down here, I wasn't even the best player at Stanford. 
If I wanted to make it to the levels of Jalen, I had so much growing to do. And here in college, it was looking like my final shot at making it pro would be the MLS Super Draft that happens at the end of the season. And if I could put on performances good enough here in my freshman year, maybe, just maybe, I could have a shot at getting drafted. So as the college season started, this was my chance to shine and I tried to make an impression starting in my first game. But the pressure was mounting, I was nervous and I started slow. The level here was a lot higher than what I was used to in high school. But I had to rise to the challenge if I wanted any shot to take it to the next level at professional teams. And I played a beautiful through ball. This could be the chance for the opening goal for our season. And I got the assist. It was a slow start to my first game, but I'm finding my rhythm. And now the confidence is starting to show. My trademark lofted through ball sets up a second assist. It's the perfect start to the season. And this should be proof that I still had a special talent, even at this level of competition. In fact, I made such an impression. They gave me the captain's armband early in the season. But just like in high school, I couldn't only be a passer. I had to work on all parts of my game. So I doubled down in training and worked extra hard to develop my scoring abilities. I became obsessed with learning how to strike a ball from distance and learn to shoot the way that I could pass. I slowly but surely mastered the art of shooting with power from distance. And with that, I added another skill to my arsenal. In addition to long ball passing, power shooting was now a staple of my game and now to catch the attention of top teams for the upcoming MLS Super Draft, I had to find success with Stanford this season and put my skills on full display. So I did everything I could to drag this team towards the Division 1 playoffs. I was assisting, I was scoring, and I was being a leader in the team. And I led Stanford to the semifinals where all the eyes would be on us. This was the most important game of my career because all the scouts were gonna be watching these playoff games. If I wanted a super draft spot, I had to have a good performance, but I struggled with the physicality of our opponents. And to be honest, I was invisible the whole game. I knew that all the MLS scouts were watching this game, but nothing I was doing was working. I even tried my new long shots. Was New York City right all those years ago? Do I not have what it takes? Well, thankfully, my team managed to get the win anyways, and now there would be one final game in our season for me to prove what I've got in the College Cup Final. So I had one final match of my freshman year against Duke University to show the world what I've got. All the eyes were gonna be on this game, so I had to make sure I could put on a show. Maybe I'd never be the fastest or the strongest, but my best bet here was to find a great assist to put my team in front. The pressure was on. And I tried to lead the team early as captain with long through balls, but it just wasn't quite working. Was I going to have another forgettable game like in the semifinals? Well, I kept trying my best and played some really good balls, but it wasn't just me that was having an off night. Even our strikers were missing chances. And with the pressure mounting on our own side, the game started to take a turn for the worse. And Duke took the lead just before halftime. If this result held, surely I would be getting no chance in the Super Draft. So we had 45 more minutes left to play, and with everything on the line, I was gonna have to take matters into my own hands. Stanford are trying to get back into the game here in the second half. It's a bit of skill there from Mason Turner in midfield. He shoots, and it's an incredible goal from way out! I can't believe what we've just seen! Stanford University are back in this game, and it's all thanks to their captain. Talk about a big moment. This guy could be the real deal. And with the MLS Super Draft coming up, Mason Turner might have just put himself on the radar of the teams who we know will be watching this game. I just had the biggest moment of my entire career, but this game was not over yet. We still needed another in order to put us in front and actually secure the championship. Could I have one final moment of brilliance and then the lofted through ball over the top to our striker secures the victory that makes Stanford into the NCAA Division I champions. And I had been at the heart of everything as captain. Question would be, is it enough to get a spot in the MLS Super Draft? Today, the best soccer players in the country await their fate as childhood dreams come true. It's the MLS Super Draft, and up next in round one, it's Austin FC. In the first round of this year's MLS Super Draft, Austin FC selects from Stanford University, Mason Turner. Well, I'm not surprised at all. This kid looks like he's got that something special. I think we all saw his goal in the final a few weeks ago. We're talking about maybe the best freshman from the NCAA last season. 
He might not be the most athletic player in this draft, but I think if you look at his passing and shooting range, there's a real quality player in there. And Austin FC might be the place to help him show that at a professional level. So after years of work, my dream has come true and I'm drafted to my first team. And now at 19 years of age, I'm beginning my journey as a professional footballer. But this will be tough because Austin are one of the worst teams in the MLS right now, and they're desperate to improve. The team just brought a new German coach, Marcel Hoffman, to the team. He's a young up and coming manager with a unique vision, and he wants to rebuild the team around youth. Hoffman has brought us and a few other youngsters in to build his team around. Now, Austin also signed promising defensive midfielder Christian Frazier this winter, who's also my age. And realistically, the two of us are going to be competing for minutes in midfield this year. And if I'm being honest, I'm probably the lowest rated player in the team. So if I want any shot at minutes, I have to show what I've got. So it's my first day in training. I'm going to find out what this is all about. And oh boy, I have a lot of work to do. Talk about physicality, the MLS is on another level. I'm really struggling to show my skill set here. And then to top it off, I'm given a harsh welcome by Christian Frazier. Don't you dare dribble near me, Turner. You're way too weak to play here. I don't know why we've signed you. I'm gonna be the one taking that center mid spot. You won't be getting any minutes as long as I'm here in the team. Well, I gotta admit, I'm shaken up after that encounter and I am not playing well. But Christian Frazier, he makes an immediate impact. He's everything I'm not. Big, strong, and defensive-minded. He looks great in training while I am struggling. And so we start the MLS season, but right now I'm nowhere near the bench, let alone the starting 11. And that says a lot because Austin FC are terrible as we fail to win any of our opening five matches. And with the coach desperate for solutions, Christian Frazier makes his way towards the first team. He started getting minutes off the bench and his hard work and physicality are helping our team defensively. But Frazier is not a creative player and Austin's biggest problem right now is goals. We're currently the lowest scoring team in the MLS. This club is crying out for anybody with a bit of creativity. I just need to show the coach that he should give me a chance. So it's back to training and now I have a point to prove. This team needs somebody to step up and I wanna show that I deserve a chance to be that guy. My confidence is slowly coming back. I'm showing my passing range and my ability on the ball and finally starting to show the attributes that I was signed for. I can tell that the coach has taken notice. And all I have to do is wait for my turn, because up next, it's the US Open Cup, and if I'm ever gonna get minutes in this team, this is it. And for the first time all season, I get a spot on the bench. Could I get the chance here to make my professional debut? Well, I was on the bench at least, and that was a step in the right direction. But the team struggled like usual. LA Galaxy took the lead pretty early on and it was looking like this might be a familiar story for a team that hasn't won a game all season. And all I want is to get a chance to prove myself because with the team crying out for somebody to make a difference, I think I have the skill set to help unlock a defense and get us back into this game. But it might take a little bit of luck to get me off the bench. However, it looks like that luck might have come my way because Christian Frazier in a hot-headed moment picks up a yellow card and with the boss furious at the way this game's going, Frazier gets subbed off and I am coming on in his place. This is the biggest moment of my entire career. I have 45 minutes to show why I deserve a spot in this team. And it's clear right away that this level is like nothing I've been in before. It's so physical here in the MLS, and that's something I've always struggled with. But if I want to succeed here, I have to shake that off and stay confident. I need to keep a cool head if I want to show the passing and shooting attributes that I think can help this team. But I'm shaking, I'll be honest. I'm giving the ball away, and this has not been the debut I would have hoped for. The way this game's going, I don't think there's gonna be very many chances for us this half, so when they pop up, I'm gonna have to make the most of them. And a fortunate bounce allows me to come away with the ball as I play it forward, and Austin FC now is on the attack. Could this be an opportunity for us to tie the game up? The shot is on, and it's in the back of the net! 1-1! One, one. And just like that, Austin FC actually have a chance to get back into this game and maybe win our first match of the season. But if I wanna earn myself a spot in this team, I need to take it up a notch. 
Slowly though, I was getting more and more confident and my work rates were paying off as I won the ball back high up the pitch late into this game. Could this be the chance to win the game so late here? I'm making the run into the box and the shot is saved by the goalkeeper. Denied at the very end of the game. That could have been the opportunity to pull us in front. All the practice that I put into shooting denied by the absolute quality of the players up here in the MLS. I'll still get some more chances in this one because we're going to extra time and I will have 30 more minutes to try to make a little bit of magic happen here. But the longer this game goes on, the more confident I'm feeling. I'm slowly finding my feet here. I might not have scored earlier with that chance, but I think I might get another opportunity as I come forward through midfield. The long shot is on, but it's saved for the second time. I've come so close to scoring on my debut twice now. And if I don't have a little bit of luck go my way soon, I'm afraid I might not have done enough on my debut to make a name for myself. But then, with only seconds remaining in the game, I would get one final chance and the luck that I was looking for to score a goal on my debut. And I could not ask for a better first professional game. It's a huge moment. Austin FC win our first match of the entire season. And it's thanks to my goal. I was finally able to show what I've got on this team. The reason that they signed me. And even though it's been a difficult adjustment here in the MLS, I'm now feeling confident that I have what it takes. And I've finally given the fans something to be excited about this season. A man of the match in my first ever professional game. And I could not ask for a better start to life here at Austin FC. And of course, the first person I hear from is my best friend, Jalen. Congrats on your debut, bro. You did great. I'm happy to see you doing well. But don't forget our dream. One of these days, we're going to play together on the same team. Well, that was a great first game, but I still have to prove myself to get consistent minutes in this team. And with New York City FC still left in the cup, I need to play to prove to them and my buddy Jalen that I can be a top player. And who knows, maybe someday Jalen and I will get the chance to play together and fulfill that childhood dream of being a partnership at the highest level. But that would have to be a story for another day. And hey, if you like the storylines in this video and want to start having more fun in your own careers, go subscribe to me at patreon.com slash respect the Jeff and download my career mode challenges guide. It's packed with 50 creative ideas that you can use in your own careers to add some fun and excitement back into FC24. Every subscription there helps support the channel and allows me to create more videos like this. So huge thanks to everyone that subscribes. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.